Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be guiding you through a simple everyday yoga flow. This is great to do in the morning, right when you wake up, but also just whenever you feel like you need a quick pick-me-up practice during the day. So we'll go ahead and get started here in child's pose, bringing the big toes together, knees spread wide. Extend the arms straight out in front of you and allow your forehead to rest gently on the mat. We'll take a cleansing breath here, releasing the air out of our lungs completely. And then taking a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it out. Two more times, taking a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it out. One more cleansing breath here on your own. And on your last exhale, feeling your body begin to melt into the ground beneath you. Softening the muscles, feeling light and free in your body and an openness and space, but also feeling grounded and supported by the earth beneath you, so finding that beautiful balance and beginning to connect with your breath here. Just go ahead and gently rock the head from side to side, finding a gentle massage across the forehead releasing any tension in the back of the neck. And then gently coming up onto the fingertips here. And then go ahead and walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat. Getting a stretch in the right side body. Go ahead and walk your hands back through the center and all the way towards the right side. Still coming up onto the fingertips, getting a stretch across the arms and the side of the body. Walk the hands back to center and then slowly come up on all fours, coming into tabletop pose, making sure the joints are stacked here. And then we'll start to find some cats and cows. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. As you exhale, round through the spine, draw the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, round through the spine. So keep moving at your own pace, matching your movements with your breath. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. And finding any other intuitive movement that feels good in your body. Maybe shifting the hips from side to side. Then we'll go ahead and tuck the toes here, send the hips back, walk the hands forward slightly, lift the knees up, coming into a downward facing dog, sending the hips up high. Go ahead and pedal out the feet, bending one knee and then bending the other. Coming back to a neutral downward dog, and go ahead and inhale, lift the heels up, exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, lift the heels up, exhale, send them down. Once more, inhale, coming up on the toes, exhale, sink the heels back. Then inhale, come up onto the toes, bend the knees, jump or step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the hands up as you bend the knees coming into chair pose. Keep your core engaged here. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Come up high on the toes, lifting the heels up. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then come to stand, releasing the heels back down to the ground. And then fold forward, releasing the head and neck, finding ragdoll pose. Bringing hands to opposite elbows. Resting the upper body along the thighs. Then release the hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat. Step it back to plank pose. Moving through chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend, either cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg for three points. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest and then step the right foot forward in between both hands, coming into a low lunge. Lift the gaze, keep the arms planted. Then tuck the back toes, step the left foot forward to meet the right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank, moving through your vinyasa. Coming through chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, three points. Step the left foot forward. Low lunge. Keeping the arms planted, but lifting the gaze and lifting the chest. Then go ahead and tuck the back toes, step the foot forward, inhale, halfway lift at the top of the mat, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step both feet back downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, coming high on the toes, shift your body weight forward into plank pose. Then shift your weight into your right hand. We're going to come into side plank. So left leg stacked on top of the right leg, lifting the left arm up and finding any other variation you'd like to take here. Maybe bending the left knee. And then go ahead and place the left hand back down, coming through plank, shifting your weight into your left hand this time, right leg stacked on top of the left leg. Right arm reaches up, find your variation here, lift the hips up. And then plant the right hand back down, coming through plank pose. Shift your body weight forward for chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts for three points. Bend the knee and open the hip. Stacking both of the hips here, getting a stretch on the right side. Go ahead and straighten out the right leg for three points. And then step the right foot forward in between both hands, coming into high lunge, lifting the arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Back foot parallel with the back of the mat, extend the arms. Inhale. And exhale, find extended side angle. Right elbow placed on top of the right thigh, left bicep to ear. Inhale, finding warrior two once more. 
Then go ahead and flip the front palm so that it's facing the sky. Exhale, reverse warrior. Left hand comes to the back of the leg. And then cartwheel the hands back down. And move through a vinyasa here, meeting in downward facing dog. From here, left leg lifts for three points. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Lift the left leg back up to three points. And step it forward, top of the mat, high lunge. Lift the arms up. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, find warrior two, extending the arms. Big inhale. Exhale, finding extended side angle, left elbow on top of the left thigh, right bicep to ear. Take a deep inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior, right hand comes to the back leg, left hand reaches up and over. And then cartwheel the arms back down, step back to plank, Moving through Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Go ahead and inhale, high in the toes. Send the knees down, cross the ankles, and come to sit on the glutes. Extending the legs straight out in front of you, finding staff pose. Keeping the toes flexed, finding a nice tall spine. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Reaching the hands for the legs, whether it's the feet, the ankles, the thighs, the calves, whatever you can grab onto and just let your head and neck hang heavy here. Breathing space into the back of the hamstrings. And relaxing your facial muscles, your jaw, your eyelids. Taking one more breath here. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, reaching a little bit further, maybe grabbing your toes or your ankles. Finding length in the spine and then forward fold. Release the head and neck once more. So with every inhale, finding length. And with every exhale, finding a little more space in the hamstrings. Inhale to slowly come up. Bringing your hands on top of the knees and lowering yourself onto your back. Bending supine pigeon pose. So left sole of the foot is placed on the ground. You're going to cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. So stay here if this is a deep stretch in your right hip. Otherwise, lift the left foot up. Interlace the fingers around the back of the knee and draw both of the knees into the chest. Breathe here. Gently release the left foot back down, uncross the leg, and switch sides. So right sole of the foot is placed down, crossing the left ankle on top of the right knee. Staying here or lifting the right leg up, bringing both knees into the chest, breathing space into that left hip. Go ahead and release both feet back down. I'm preparing for bridge pose here, making sure the feet are hip width distance apart. Extending the arms so the fingers are touching the heels. And then go ahead and lift the hips up, shimmying the shoulders underneath you. 
and maybe interlacing the fingers underneath the hips for a deeper stretch. Make sure the knees aren't splaying out to the sides, energetically drawing them together. One last inhale here, and then exhale, release the hips back down. Bring arms into cactus, and then shift the knees from side to side, resetting the spine and the low back. And then hug the knees into the chest, Wrap your hands around your shins, giving yourself a hug. And then moving into happy baby, bringing the arms inside of the legs, hands wrapped around the outer blades of the feet, gently rock from side to side here. Go ahead and gently release the soles of the feet back down to the earth. Preparing for shoulder stand, drawing the knees into the chest, pressing into the hands to lift the hips up high, bringing the hands underneath the low back for support. So bringing the weight into the elbows and beginning to straighten out the legs. Breathing here. If you'd like to take a deeper stretch in the spine, in the back, you can come into plow pose by extending the legs behind you, bringing the toes to rest above the head on the ground. Maybe releasing the hands to the mat and interlacing the fingers. Find whatever variation works best for you. And then on your next exhale, slowly release the feet back down to the earth. Extend the legs straight out in front of you. Coming into fish pose, lifting the upper body, coming onto the forearms with the palms face down. Elbows stacked underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and lift the chest up. Open the heart. Maybe let the head and neck hang heavy if that's comfortable. Feeling a stretch in the front shoulders and deltoids. And go ahead and extend your body back down laying on the back and extending the legs out wide. Go ahead and place one hand on your heart and the other on the low belly. Beginning to tune into your breath here. Noticing how you feel physically, energetically and also mentally. And coming back to your natural, easy breath. Once you're ready, hug the knees into the chest. Place the hands on top of the knees and rock yourself up, finding a comfortable seated position, keeping the gaze soft. Taking a moment here for yourself, finding gratitude, bringing the hands to heart center, bringing the thumb to the third eye, bowing our heads. Namaste. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.